How would you say that they were doing? Now? Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I think that um, there's terrible deadlock, gridlock, um, way political, and uh, I'm a Republican, so I think, of course, that Democrat-controlled Congress is just um, reaping terrible results for the American people. They're deadlocked on everything from energy to the war to um, something that's very important to me, the pro-life effort, you know, everything. They're just not getting anywhere with anything. You know, when you when you look at, at at all the time they spend trying to do things and make laws and stuff and the pork belly stuff that's going into everything, I, I would have to say that it needs a, an entire gutting, and they need to start all over again. Probably as good as they've ever done. How well how well do you think they're doing? Not very good. Not very well at all. I think sometimes we are kind of slow for things that we really need, you know, to act on real quick. Sometimes I, I think they're kind of slow on that, but overall I think they're doing good. Uh, right now, of course, uh, as a whole, I don't think they're moving very well. Uh, we, I think most of the people, probably many people, at least back in Oklahoma, would think that they're moving slow, they're not solving the problems fast enough, our economy's in trouble, our infrastructure's in trouble, our health care's in trouble. A lot of people don't get health care that need it. You know, we have a war going on that's lasted for anything longer than Vietnam War, for that matter. So I think people are concerned about that. Um, it probably could be better. I mean, I just heard Bush say that this is a veto pen, which Congress doesn't have. So probably could be doing better to make a better, like, make more compromises and um, do what the American people want rather than what they want. Well... I mean, I think it's really difficult because um, I don't know the ratio, but it's about 50-50 for uh, Republicans and Democrats. And I think it's, you know, it's hard to make laws when everyone's 50-50. That's be, that'd be like if me and her, you know, we're dating. If we disagreed on issues, it'd be really tough to run something. So I think that makes it a lot difficult making things happen. We're not doing very well. I think that's probably uh, a criticism of, I think, the nation as a whole. Because what has happened is we've become a nation of poles. I'm either on this side or I'm on that side. And I'm not working together to cross that aisle, if you will, so that we can look at the uh, support the country as a whole. And there, we can never have everything our way. There's got to be some sort of compromise. And I'm afraid that our leaders uh, have lost the art of compromise. And what they're doing now is basically it's my way or the highway. And as a result, we as American people suffer. I think that overall, over the, like, the history of America, Congress has functioned pretty well. Um, I think kind of lately things have, getting, have been getting a little bogged down. Um, I think that Congress could work a little harder at getting things done. But I also try to take the long view and I think that in general change is slow and it's better that it's slow than that it's fast. And I think. Congress was pretty well set up. I think they're doing okay. I think they're doing okay. They, I believe, passed the GI Bill and a war funding bill, and the uh, they're working on the home foreclosures um, issues. So I think they're trying to get things done. Well, the Democrats have the majority right now, so fortunately, I don't think it's going that great. But. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see with this new uh, presidential election and everything. We'll see what happens.